makes an X appear. Now if you just click around you'll be able to move the X but first I want to change the font size because when it when you change the font size and you got it placed it will like it'll move it slightly. So now that's right so we go we tick on this button here click off go to font and we go across to units 5 OK and that will change to the right size. Now click on my spacebar go normal to now I'm ready to position right so now that's ready now we can green tick that okay and I can exit out the sketch because I'm ready to use the cut extrude cut feature to cut in so we'll add a dimension now if I go first isometric view by clicking on the space file we can see that's too far 0 0.25 press return and green tick and now there is our X component ready. Now we're ready to create the O component. So if I go across to here, like we did before, um, go to properties of this configuration, properties, and we'll change that to X, green tick. Now we'll go up to the top, right click, add configuration, O, green tick. Now we're in our O configuration, we're ready to, we'll go down here, and we will suppress that okay so now we can go across and do exactly the same as done before so sketch normal to select letter we'll click uh, put in text here O and we'll untick the use document font go across to font units okay five green tick now that is correct okay so we've green tick that we've moved it into the right position now we are exit out the sketch extrude cut 0 0.25 that's okay and green tick that okay and there we have our X and our O now if I go up to counter I'll save that and now if I go to here I can click between the two X and O, oh, and that's fantastic. That's exactly what. We're now ready to create the final parts that we need for our assembly, which are the bolts. So if we just exit, I'll just exit out there, don't save. Okay, so we'll go file, new, part, okay. And we we'll go top plane, right click, sketch, go circle, click on the circle, smart dimension the circle, and we'll select a dimension of four millimeters. Green tick that, okay. Now we want to go just go straight across the features, don't need to exit out the sketch, so it's selected, go extrude and we'll want to extrude that up 15 mil okay great now we're ready on the top here to add our our bolt head so we can have an allen key type so we'll go across there and we'll add in a, a circle with a dimension of 7.5 and we'll extrude that up 5 mil green tick that. Now on the top here I'm just going to add a hexagon, a polygon, so we'll, we'll select that, doesn't matter how big, I mean I want it to be massive so like so and using the start dimension, we'll dimension the circle with a radius, um, with a di uh, diameter of, let's give it a diameter of 4, green tick that, now go exit out feature extruded cut with it selected and that's too much so four will do okay and now we can literally add a fillet to the edge here just to make it look a little bit nicer so we'll add two mil fillet or oh, sorry one mil that looks better there we go 
and we can they're ready to save that file save as and we'll save that as bot oh. go into tic-tac-toe go into my area where I haven't so bot save and there we go and that's created our bot We are now ready for the final part of the tutorial, which is to bring all of our parts that we created together in an assembly. So if you haven't already, it's first thing first, it's best to open up all the parts we created. So I'll go to open, and so therefore I want my bolts, my counter, and my top. If I select them all at once, and then I can open all three of them without having to go backwards and forwards. So there's my bolt, my counter, and my bottom right okay so now they're open there's a reason behind that obviously because when I go into my assembly assembly okay so new part assembly okay um, what will happen is we can begin assembly it's got all of our parts okay so all of them uh, will be open um, in here if they weren't open then we'd have to go browse and look about for them which can be really annoying so it's rule of thumb always best to open your parts before you open assembly so we go to top and we will uh, click green tick that okay no um, green tick that yep yeah. and we will go and then we need two of them so we'll go insert component and we'll bring in another top notice at the moment though however my top aren't they're, they're the same this isn't what we want we need to change the configuration of one so this top one here if we right click on it and we go down to configure component we can select the compo uh, configuration we want so I can select top OK and that will put in the correct configuration also uh, as you can see the sketch is showing here so we can just hide those sketches by clicking on the plus then going down to sketch hide and there we go now we've got our two plates. So first things first, rather than bringing all the components in, we'll make these. So I'll select one edge there. That's going to be in line with that edge. Green tick. That edge will be in line with that edge. Remember, SolidWorks automatically will uh, configure, and sometimes you have to change it manually. And then this face in line with this face here. So that will mean that all our parts are in line and that's great okay so I've done that now I'm gonna just save my configuration so save um, save all and we'll save it in our file I'm gonna sort of save it as tic-tac because I've already got a file called tic-tac-toe uh, yeah SolidWorks as I say gets confused if you call things the same uh, so make sure you don't okay so we brought that in now it's time to bring our counters in so I'm gonna bring one insert Counter two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we want eight counters. Eight. Okay. So, first things first, let's all get them the same. Uh, let's get them in a hole and the same height, actually. So, we'll go to mate, and if I pick one bottom there, I'll pick that at the bottom and this will move up. Green tick. And then that and that. Yep. Tick the bottom, click the bottom there, click the bottom there. And click the bottom there, click the bottom there. Click the bottom there, bottom there. Bottom there. And the bottom there. And then the last one, click the bottom there and the bottom there. This means that they're all in line. So now if I go, if I click on my space bar and go front view, what I can do is I'll move them up like so. And now we can, now we can basically align them with the holes. So I want that one to go in there, zero to go there, that one to go there, click there and there. So we're using the, the uh, coincidence concentric tool okay 
on here. So just by clicking though, because SolidWorks knows, because they're two concentric shapes that the, to use the concentric tool. Okay, so there and there. Like so. Okay, and that's that done. And now one final thing, we've got to bring them down to the floor on here. So like, there we go. Okay, but there's one thing we're noticing now, um, that each one of these, they're all circles. So we've got to basically change them to some of them to X's. So what we can do, if we click on one, like so, if I right click, and then I can go configure component, I'll click down, I'll click X, and I'll click OK. Right click, configure component, click down, X, OK. So right, right click, configure component, click down, X, OK. Right down, configure component, X, OK. OK, so that's, uh, that's completed that. Now we're ready uh, to uh, file save. I'll just save that quickly. Now let's uh, bring in our final part, which is our bolt. So bolt, we need one, two, insert component, three, four. Okay. So again, we'll do the same. We'll, we'll just align all the bottoms together. Green tick. That one, and that one, then this one, and that one. Okay, so that's that done. And now I'm going to align them in these holes at the edge here. Okay, so it doesn't matter which hole, as long as it's like so. And now we can only have to, because they're all aligned, we only have to select one and bring it down. And there we go. They are all fitted inside. Now it's looking a bit, okay, dull. Okay, let's add some color to our uh, thing. So on the bottom here, if we go across and select top, and we go across to appearances, then we can go down to organic wood. Okay, and we'll select polished oak. Right click, add appearance part. That's that. Now we'll select the top two. We go across to appearance. I'll go up to plastic, um, clear plastic, and let's use frosted plastic. Okay, so add appearance of glass. Um, all our bolts. So we'll pick from one, two, three, four. Go across here. I'll go to. Uh, Painted in here, car, and we'll use black. So, painted car, black, add appearance part. And then the counters, which go from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just, we'll make them metal, let's say. Okay, right. At the top, here it's metal. We'll make them a chrome, satin finish chrome. There we go. So, that's nice and all done. And we're, now we can go up, save, OK. And that concludes the assembly tutorial for the tic-tac-toe.